what's happening, Facebook fam? Tube Nation, it's your boy. Big Vic, Com Compton Scholar. You know what time it is. Bevel. Alright, so I have to let me hear well, what I have left. Go back. So we can get into using this now. Uh, I did an unboxing about, I want to say about a week and a half, two weeks ago, of uh, the Bevel shaving system. Uh, which is specifically designed for reducing and preventing rage bumps here on the face. But what we're going to use it for mostly, mainly, is shaving our head. Uh, you can see I'm lacking here. And instead of walking around trying to preserve what little bit is not there, when it grows back in a certain thickness, I shave it off. So that's what we're going to do. <coughs> now we're going to get. All of our necessary items out. I'll show you the four. And if you want to see the uh, unboxing, I'll put a link in the description below, and also it should be on the card that comes across. We'll pull everything out and we'll grab the instructions and read on those real quick. And uh, about what we have to do for the instructions. Uh, what you do for your beard uh, or scalp. So, cool little book. Once again, you want to see all the ins and outs. Let's kind of see a breakdown of what's all in the box. Um, check the uh, unboxing video. So, I was reading mm, <coughs> a few things I noticed um, in the instructions. Gives you how to use the insecty razor. Um, tells you to always shave with the, with the grain of your hair. So, however your hair grows, that's how you shave it. That's what we say this way. Um, never shave over dry or bare skin. Has instructions on how to load a blade, which is pretty straightforward. If you, you know, you know, get your hands on a blade. So let's do it real quick. We got a razor blades right here, sixty stainless steel blades. Okay, got a tape on the top and bottom to keep it from it's falling down. I need to raise just getting to them. I guess that's a good thing if you got kids that, like mine, they go through your stuff and you're not looking, you're not paying attention. You can just get into stuff. Ah, there we go. Okay. Okay, it's relief pressure. If I sound like I'm a little bit of the weather, I am. Then he's rather kind of flexible too. Okay. Let's close this back up. Before we pop this razor out, as you can see, it's just real thin. So when you open this up, what you do is you put it to the left, left and right, and right. Come apart. <clears throat> See where you go. <clears throat> now, most of you are looking like, man, you got no glasses. How you gonna do this shaving? I'm gonna switch to my contacts. Don't worry, I won't show you when I put my contacts on. I'm not stupid because, man, these are super thin. No way. Oh, you're smooth the right way. Now it's got to look like some a little glue in it, so make sure you rinse this off or something. Take this 
stretch his knee. Want to raise your head with one hand. So, per instructions, I guess I should have pre-read this. Um, no more steps to prime. Yeah, that's fine. Prime oil. Prime oil. Right there. And it says, to, it's, uh, I'll read the instructions. Here. Take a hot shower before you shave to open up your pores and soften your hair. A shower is best. Now, um, they do have another way to do it. I don't have time for that. Uh, you can also start to do a shave by holding it down. Hot towel against your skin. Um, this one will immediately after a hot shower. So, that's the first thing there. So, basically, you want your pores opened up. You want your hair softened. So, we're going to run this water a little bit. I'm going to put this blade on. Don't worry, I'll probably speak that. Now it's in there. Oh. Oh, Water getting hot, so let's get this towel and soften up the skin. Soften her up right there. Little scraggly ones down my skull. But yeah, this little like this. Get that some more water. This will this nothing. Um, got the cut buddy, right? This is jacked up, and uh, I'm actually waiting on my trimmers from Bells from Bevel. Uh, I hadn't gotten yet, I actually haven't even mailed them out yet, or at least my not my uh, so I'm waiting on that. But uh, my, as you can see, my beard looks toe down, my mustache looks toe down, and I can't go for one without it. So, what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna try to use the safety razor in conjunction with this. You know, see if we can. And, uh, <coughs> create our edge with the razor and get that crisp edge. And then we're going to go with these little raggedy trimmers I got and, um, make it look uniform. So, just a minute. I'm waiting on my, I'm waiting on my clippers, man. My, my trimmers. I need the trimmers in my life, man. I need them in my life. I want them. says how much we got to use of that because you don't want to overuse it. You massage a nickel size amount of priming oil into your skin. No need to rinse it off. So if you're putting in, you don't need to rinse it off. So if your brush is kind of up about 20 seconds, get your brush. This is fun. All right, so <clears throat> you're going to need some more hot water. A second, because we're gonna need a brush after we put this nickel size amount of priming oil in. Oh, um, the brush comes in the box and comes in the package. There we go. Then, hold on, let's break it open. The brush is open. I can hear somebody say that's what she said. Brush it open. Yeah. Mm. Say it's soft enough over here. Say it's soft enough over here, you know that? 
do whatever you're going to say. Said a nickel size amount. Some might say, why you go with a safety razor approach to save your hair? Why don't you go with a straight razor? Well, not to say straight razor, but uh, look at your hair today. I'm going to have a key or something. You know, hair razor or shake or something like that. Reason being is because I, I use shake before. Um, and um, they're cool, but you're always constantly spending money. I saw a cabinet by the name of Big Happiness. He has a YouTube channel. Go check him out. I saw him use a straight razor. I don't think it was Bell. I saw him using a so say, safety razor. And I just so happened to see Bell go you know, across the timeline or whatever. I saw, I saw check him out. He got me a safety razor. And I figured this is a more cost efficient way for me to, you know, shave my head. So we're going to try it out. I saw his, his results, you know. Shave his head pretty fast. Once the mud finishes, then you have uh, the uh, the chic razors, the Gillette razors. It takes a it takes a little bit of time to shave your head, you know, shave it right and get it cleaned up. So we're gonna go this one out. Let's see how it goes. One second in hot water. And then we're going to put a little certain amount of shave cream. Shave cream. Once again, I know that attention to detail. Oh, snap. Look, you got to take me. Come on now. The Walker brand and company, man, they ain't playing around, man, when they do that thing. I ripped the little tab off. See, see Tristan, you want to make new tabs, man. This dude's as strong as I am. We have nothing else. <laughs> Dang, I'm gonna I'm drop the tag on stuff. I'm like I said, I don't need to waste that. Like I said, I'm a country boy. I'm a city boy to country habits. So. Okay, there we go. You see? It's like you barber. I'm trying to cut myself up. I'm trying to have my head look like a Cincinnati big on him. Mm-hmm. 
So three and five safe cream and strong circular motion is a bit speed and pressure to whip up a foam lever. Do that. So the brush with the left over cream beside you might need some later. Do that. Some like creating a lab in the bowl in the mug before finding the skin when I'm at that. Okay, whatever. You do it. Remember to maintain your third degree hand when doing apply pressures. The weight of the bevel razor hand will do the work for you. Trust. I will. The short of line shave in the same direction your hair grows. Okay, so. You can rest in high water. Because uh, even though this is a single blade, it has blades on each side, but it's a single blade stroke. Um, you still need to mix your blade out after a few strokes. With hot water, you don't have to throw hot water. Anybody who uses cold water is in the same place. Uh, I don't know what's wrong with you. And on the last page, it says, Rinse your skin with cold water to close your pores. Don't rub gently pat down with a clean towel. Rub a nickel sized amount of the restoring balm into your skin. So we're going to use this last. We're going to use hot water. There we go, we got hot water. It's a third degree angle, so we're gonna try right here. No pressure. Okay. Okay. And I'm, the reason why it's not cut I get as much as it probably could because I am nervous. I'm used to using that fifteen dollar crack that I use at Walmart. It says no pressure. There we go. Okay. All right. All right. We're getting somewhere a little bit. Okay. Okay. Once you, once you get your little angle, it's coming out like man, like butter. Oh. Get too cocky. Slice my head up, man. I mean, I think I done went to a knife fight. With my hand side behind my back. Okay, okay. Okay, I see. Oh, oh. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Oh. Let's see what we can do with the left hand. Let's see what we can do with Look at that, man. When you get your angle right, you don't put no pressure on it. No pressure. I'm just letting that blade do its thing. Look at that. What? What? Okay, you know what I mean? You're too crunk. So crunk. I think anybody use that word in like. Five to ten years, man. What should I say? Turnt. You get too turnt, like smooth slice your head up, man. This is, I'm doing this while I'm a bald head, brothers. I know we are. Struggles with you. Back in the day when I was young, I could get more. I had a lot of. That's the song we say. Y'all be talking about. I wish I was kidding if I said we, we talking about. We had a lot of back in. Back in the day. Shoot, I even had a headache back in the day. You ate 
maybe you know what I'm talking about. Okay. All right, so let's get some of the out. 